So one, uh, one Saturday morning, my, my cell phone rang at 7 a.m. And there is only one person on this planet who calls me at that ungodly hour. And uh, that's my mother. Now, by way of context, my mother is 89 years old. For 75 of those years, she has smoked a pack of Pall Malls every single day. She has successfully avoided exercise and she eats bacon with impunity. She is a force of nature. So this is what I hear on the phone. Your sister tells me you're writing a book about the angiogram. So I said, look, I am not writing a book on the angiogram. I'm writing a book on the Enneagram. And she says, what's the Enneagram? So I gave her my, uh, my kind of my elevator pitch. I said, well, the Enneagram's an ancient personality typing system that helps people understand who they are, why they think, feel, and act the way that they do, and helps them understand who they are at their best and who they are at their worst. So then there was this like long, utterly silent, airless sound on the other end of the phone. And finally my mother says, forget the Enneagram, write a book about going to heaven and coming back. Those authors make money. <laughs> so my mom's suggestion that I forgo writing a book about the Enneagram made me really begin to question doing it. I mean, what possible reason could a sane human being come up with for writing a book about an old personality typing system whose name sounds suspiciously like the pentagram? <laughs> but here's why I did it. For centuries, great Christian teachers have insisted that we cannot really know God until we first know ourselves. Now that's a radical idea. Augustine prayed, Lord, let me know myself that I may know thee. Calvin said, without knowledge of self, there is no knowledge of God. And I know from firsthand experience that this is true and that the Enneagram is one of the best tools and only one tool, only one tool of many that can help us accomplish this task. So what's it all about? For those of you who don't know, the Enneagram is a 16 hundred year old personality typology. It suggests that there are nine core personality types in the world and it offers an in-depth and uncannily accurate, creepy accurate at times, description of each of those types. But that's just the psychology of it. The early teachers who developed the Enneagram saw that each of the nine types had a particular weakness for one of the seven deadly sins that Pope Gregory I came up with, pride, envy, gluttony, lust, anger, greed, sloth. And then someone added fear and deceit to the list so no one would feel left out. <laughs> and obviously we're all capable of committing every single one of those deadly sins. But let's be honest, there's one that always trips us up. Always one. Take an inventory of all of your little and not so little moral failures over the course of your lifetime and you'll recognize a very uncreative pattern. Most of our misdeeds are just variations of the, the same theme of our particular type's deadly sin. So listen, if you don't know your particular thorn in the flesh, the sin that besets you, trust me, it has complete autonomy 
to do whatever it wants in your life. 